Okay, we're in the detention center, talking to Edgeworth for what? No, Maya. Wait, I thought. Oh wait, never mind. Oh Maya. Oh oh yeah, I remember now. She was sent away for contempt of court, I believe. That's why she's here. Maya. Hey Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the the day. Okay. It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that anyway? Well, it's probably, you know, to prevent Phoenix from getting kicked out. She took the blame instead. I don't know. I... I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, he's stuck here, though. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go, th uh, let you go after questioning. Oh, who? Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. <laughs> bail money? You can pay for me, right? Huh? Uh, how much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? It's going to be costly. Uh, any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Hmm. Well, I don't know. When she takes over your body, I don't know. Do you get to converse with your sister or? That weird. I mean, actually, I think yeah. I, I think she can, you know, in a weird way. I think when she does, like, you know, take over her body, I think they do communicate a little bit, maybe. Uh, I do know that when Mia does, uh, like, get summoned, Maya isn't really like conscious, so I don't know. Real pro. Oh, nothing to say about Maya. Ah, uh, can I present you stuff? Look at this photo! Is that the enlarged photo Lodo was talking about? Uh-huh. Oh. It's nice and big, but you can't really see the faces any clearer, can you? Hmm. Okay. Oh. Give me this. Mother? Okay, no. Now's not the time. I just want to show her some evidence, like some new evidence that we got, you know, after the trial. See if she's he, she has any insight, but I guess not. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to move on. <laughs> Gotta get that bail money ready, maybe. Can you go back here? Anything to do in here? Sure is quiet here with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Yeah. And no one to talk to. Just myself. <laughs> when I close it, it slipped out of my hand and my foot hurt too. Mm. <laughs> These legal books. They're true enemies. Yes. More time on the couch watching TV. I imagine, yeah, this office doesn't make a lot of money, as it turns out. A second branch of the hotel. His name is Charlie, apparently. Now this this is a deep lore. This planet is called Charlie. Wow. Anyway, I guess nothing to do here. Let's go back to Gord Lake, I guess. See if there's any other clues we can pick up. There are fewer than there uh, were yesterday, but the cops are still around the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe was here today. Maybe. Is Larry here? Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keons. Okay. No samurai dogs for us. Oh, so what I'm gonna do? Wanted to go back. Okay, anything in here? 
bell. Rental shop? Still nothing? I always keep going here. There's nothing around to talk to. Like, nobody around to talk to. Hmm. Anything about the bell? Took a place in the boat from this dock. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I was gonna say, like, can we just investigate the actual boat? But actually, they it was taken away. Confiscated. Okay, so we can't really investigate the actual boat. Because I'm wondering, like, yeah. Any, like, evidence on the actual boat? Can't look at it, though. There's a lot of here. A lot of heart. Oh, there's Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today, it, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Uh, what about... What, what about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though, you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. <laughs> I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks? Now, let's talk. Oh, Detecti uh, Detective Gumshoe. Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness. All oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. Yeah, initially they had like one witness before a lot of heart, right? So they're gonna bring someone else instead. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh. Right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I've never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as nay. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. Yeah, I think, yeah, we heard that from Edgeworth. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Hmm, dark and troubled past. Well, I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Huh? He's not, uh, she's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Hold his eyes, Edgeworth? Really? Eh, really? <laughs> well, he was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll get the report on mine and get her out of there as soon as I can. Well, thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail gonna be? Ah, oh, don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is po uh, posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? How oh, didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to pick out her up, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, Edgeworth is paying for that. I mean, one less bill I have to pay for. <laughs> Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. Hmm. Hey, buddy old pal, can you, can you lend me some money? <laughs> uh, Maybe not. Outdoor series, just uh, got the camping stuff for fun. Mm, just looking here, anything else? No one cleaned this yet, I guess. She, she, she didn't come back to clean it, I guess. Anything else with this camera? Anything else I can notice? Hmm. There's nothing else. Yes, yeah, maybe pick up Maya. Let's go pick up Maya. Uh, this way. And... yeah. Oh, Maya! Hey, Nick! You finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Oh yeah, you were here last time though. Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Um. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, thanks for bail. Oh, thank Edgeworth. Uh huh. He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? 
I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. I guess we do. Now, what do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking the clothes department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. I, I was kidding. Still, if there are any other, any other clues there, the park's as good as bad as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure! You notice anything lately? Hmm? You know, I didn't notice one thing while I was in detention. It's really pretty uh, comfortable here. It's warm, they keep it very clean. I mean, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that, no. <laughs> That's about me, I should leave her alone. Well, okay, let's go back to the lake. With our partner. Our partner in crime. Well, partner in anti-crime. Not many cops around. Probably back in the precinct working up a case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lada! Y'all really did it today. What do we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. A lot of. So, you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Hmm. And by the way, I, I mentioned before like how she has like a accent in the original translation. I actually looked it up and I was, well, I was not completely off the mark, but I think I was wrong about um, how I was comparing accents to like urban and rural areas. But really, I think her accent uh, is like a Kansai dialect, you know, like a stereotypical kind of like little like uh, dialect, like dialect, regional dialect uh, from Osaka, I believe, you know. It's like a, it's a very distinct way of speaking Japanese, you know. They use like slightly different pronunciations for everything. And that's why, you know, Maya before mentioned that it's a little bit hard to understand her when she's speaking that way, right? Uh, what do you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I've been a witness, even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry. I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory's a trick, a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I should know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? Well, what about Gordy? Right. Well, the thing I figured, the trial is only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. All right, Lada, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer too. And I'll finish your spirit medium training first. So, Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Kahn, I didn't want me to say nothing about it. Well, what information? Now we're getting the heart of it. Lada heart. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us? Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. <laughs> what? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh... Hey, I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these th southern folks are, these Osakan folks. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most Southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, well, you'll be. Are you gonna deal or not? Oh, well, what do we do, Nick? Fine. We need. We we're desperate, so we don't have any other leads. So I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Hmm. Huh? Are you completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Wow 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 wow. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Ah, then bring me proof that shows he don't. <laughs> uh... I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. 
How exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Hmm, monster myth specialist. Larry? Larry Butts? Harry Butts? Oh, well, everything looks a little bit different now. There's flags? The big old, like, steel samurai thingy? Ooh, what's that? Steel Samurai, Nick? Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it's my girl Keonce's idea. She was all like, if you want to put this here, it would be like really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow, that's real impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got it for free. Right. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, alright. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Hmm. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No, really? Oh, well, we are only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Hmm, transferred. Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it though. Hey Larry, when did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I had that for a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why, is, why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's a little unit by my hot dog stand. That's why I use to put air in the steel samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you inflated it by yourself. <laughs> we're, we're like blowing into it? That, that would be quite difficult. I guess compressor right here? What's this machine? Oh, that? That's a compressor. I use it to fill up that balloon there with air. Huh, me. Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Doesn't that Steel Samurai look a little bit out of place? It's, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. Something about this Steel Samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh, really? It looks pretty well made to me. Hmm, still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. <laughs> These Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. They're like anime fans. Those flags look sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know, I think it gives the place a kind of festival atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. The War of the what? Hmm, what? You mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? Uh, what the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Hmm, I guess we were the only ones. I asked again, what the heck is it? Festival! The original Samurai Dogs on this. Yeah, okay. World famous. Oh, okay, oh, well, that, that must be why he put those flags. Because he's implying it's world famous. Ah! Amazing. Okay. Any clues in the trash? No, just empty. Empty, there's nothing in there, huh? Nothing else to talk about? No? You know anything about this? Nope. Okay. I don't think Larry's gonna know much. I feel like. No, nothing about that. Yeah. okay. Well, where do we go now? Gordy, Gordy, Gordy. We gotta find clues about Gordy. Appar apparently, so we can get, like, a clue from Lada. So quiet here. I wonder if the bow shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation until it blows over. I get it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, nothing. Uh -huh. 
Talk to Lada, I guess. Maybe she's here, right? But we need to get her information first. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Hmm, no, oh, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at nighttime. It is a little chilly. I... I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. no you don't. No sneezing. Achoo! <laughs> oh. I guess sneezing causes that to take pictures as well. I told you, no sneezing. See, I said the camera would respond to things a little softer than a bang. It triggered one von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. Uh... Let's ask Edgeworth for like some loan money. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testify is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, did you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. Okay. Where do we start searching though? What are you gonna do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Uh, was it a good one? You bet! A UFO! A UFO? 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 Oh, a UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a cure in making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh, so you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right, I, I, I guess she wasn't completely lying about that part. She, saying she was like a research student and everything. Uh, what are you gonna do? No, it doesn't make sense. Oh. Hmm, oh, oh, this is repeat. Okay. Usually, usually there's like a little check mark, you know, that says it's already been uh, explored. But as it turns out, um, I don't know. There's just no check mark for that. Weird. You know, maybe we have to choose that dialogue choice once we do have like something about Gordy. I mean, we search everywhere. Uh, do we examine more, I guess? Hmm. We examine the park some more. I have, I have a feeling that I mean, we might need to go somewhere else to actually find some clues about Gordy. I don't know. Hmm. Look at this. With a sign, no? Too cold for picnicking, though. Um. Can you go here? Hey, Gumshoe, you know anything about Gordy? Hey there, pal. What's up? You know, out of sorts. Oh wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again? What do you mean again? Ah, oh, whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. Well, how's the investigation proceeding? Well, it's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in that DL6 incident. The guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. It would make sense, I guess. But... And, and Edgeworth never really talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out of him and hit him in court tomorrow, too. A poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? Hmm, the monster down in the Gord Lake? No, not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Huh? You got, you got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I told the Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try to tell him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. Oh, I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Ooh. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Ooh, secret weapons? Give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. 
Introducing secret weapon number one, missile. M -m missile? Oh, he's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile, missile, here boy. Oh, wow, here he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick, cute dog. Kawaii Inu. Cute dog. And this will help us how? <laughs> Next, secret number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Oh yeah! How are you supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? I'll never know till you try, pal! <laughs> okay, this was, this was the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by your choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know, might have been eating soda cans. Well, which one will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I mean... It seems... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think... It, like, I imagine, like, I don't know, it's gonna be like a, um, a section where you gotta use like all three or something. You have to come back and get the other one, and come back and get the other one, and find like a clue that eventually leads to something about Gordy. I don't know. Though, to be honest, a missile will probably be the most, you know, useful. Like, a dog can smell stuff, right? Smell something, um, maybe dig something up, you know? I think missile will probably be the most useful. I'm just gonna choose that one. Sure thing, pal. Be good on them. He's so cute. Oh boy. Very cute. <laughs> that's that's the That's what its uh biggest trait is. Cute dog. Hmm. Anything in here? Looks like Edgeworth isn't questioning. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping to talk to like someone else, but I guess not. We have to Hey, does Grossberg know anything? You know anything, Grossberg? Ah, uh, he's on vacation. Ah. Uh, oh. That's not what I do. Guess we'll go back to Gord Lake. Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, alright. That little creature of the detectives. <laughs> creature. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> no, he doesn't respond well to Larry. What's wrong, Missile? Ah! Missile! Missile! Whoa, oh, stop that thing! Cannibal, it's eating my samurai dogs! Well. We put him out of business. My samurai dogs! Wow, you get every single bite. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry? Sorry I don't pay my bills, Nick! Ahaha, <laughs> ahaha. It's gonna have to this time. We don't have any money, Larry. Oops. Well, <laughs> uh, that was a bad idea, I guess. No more samurai dogs for the universe. Hmm. <laughs> Can I present the dog to him? Hey, see this dog? Hey Larry, look, it's Missile! Is he cute? Keep that mud away from me! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna tell the big boss? There's a big boss in charge of your hot dog stand? Nick! Maybe this stands in front for a mafia money laundering scheme, or a bunch of like uh, mercenaries, you know, with no name, with no uh, rather no 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 name rather no nation. Anyway, Maya, I think you should probably try to look a little sorry about what happened. Oh right, eh, my poor dogs. No, nope. oh, nothing here. I imagine. Well, I don't know. I'm in. Already checked mark. I was thinking like uh, if we bring, you know, missile to different locations, you might find something. Maybe, maybe not. 
Anything else to say? No? Uh, I'll go here. No, nothing. Hey, Missile, you wanna eat that? Aluminum. Aluminum? Alum aluminum. Aluminum. I know there's like a different way to pronounce aluminum, but I don't know what the other one is. Like aluminium? Aluminium? Something like that. Guess that's it. I mean, we just brought Missile and Missile ate all the samurai dogs. I don't know how well like his business would do anyway, but at the very least, you know. It would be better than having all of his stock eaten in the first place. Maybe. I guess, I don't know. Can you give me another secret weapon instead? Missile's not really helping us. I guess the department, department policy apparently of the trade stuff. It's kind of weird we have to like keep trading, you know. If it breaks, it dis dispose of it, okay. Flimsy and of dubious utility. Hmm. Let's go back. I guess the only thing we can do with a fishing pole is to fish, right? Let's go to the lake. Maybe we can fish uh, here? No? Can we fish? Hello? Hmm. Can't really use it. If there's no like use option, like in the other like point and click adventure games, you can just use an object. Can't really do that though. You know, you can't catch many fish in this lake. I'm not after small fry, I'm after the biggest fry of them all, Gordy! You really gonna try and fish out a monster? To save Ezra, yes! Brings a tear to my eye in more ways than one. Okay. Fish? Can we fish? Fish. Gourd Lake is really big. Why is it called Gourd Lake? Because they used to grow, grow gourds here, but also it looks like a gourd. Maybe. Mm. And here. Huh? Looks like maybe. Hmm. Okay, Nick. This looks like a good spot. A good spot for what? Time to do some fishing. Oh, she's serious. Um, what are you gonna use for bait? Oh. Yeah, oh. Hmm. I figured something like this would happen. We should have brought a missile along with us too. At least then we have bait. <laughs> what? Nick? How could you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hmm. Some jokes are better left untold. Oof. She hit me. Okay. Watch this, Nick. Just try not to reel in empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go. Ah, my leg. <laughs> what? Again? Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Lada. Don't tell me y'all are some film company's payroll. Nick, pay her. My poor, poor wallet. We keep, we keep losing money. Hmm. This is like we were in the negatives at this point. Um, uh, but I guess, yeah, that, that didn't work. Here you go, fishing pole. We're catching Gordy. A fishing pole? Are y'all your doggone mine? Yes, I mean, yes, it's a fishing pole. Huh. I never thought of that. Good luck. Thanks. I don't believe it. Oh, oh yeah, I, I think we, well, I don't know. I don't think we presented the missile to a lot of heart. Can we do that? I was wondering what, what that, like, what will happen if we do that instead? Let's see. And again, I don't know why, well, other than the fact that Gumshoe's saying that it's government department policy that we need to only give you one at a time, I feel like probably when the game was made, it's kind of like a uh, uh, limitation of the engine or something like that. You know, the fact that we can only bring one thing at a time, so it's scripted in a certain way where we can only bring one thing at a time. Present as you. Big star in the criminal affairs. Why is he named Missile? Uh, now that you mention it, I'm not sure. Why don't you use aptly named for Wedsworth? Hmm. I'm just like... 
I want to present it to everyone. I just want to see the new dialogue, maybe. Like, what happens if we present a lot of heart? It's probably not, not the correct thing to do, but I just want to see. What do you think of this dog? Hey, Lada. Oh, cute. He yours. He's a canine police dog. His name's Missile. Hmm. Canines are the ones that use to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, missile. Missile like in Ghost Trick? There's a missile in Ghost Trick? Maybe. Yeah, it's been a long... I think I played Ghost Trick, but it's been a long time, so... Maybe there is a missile in Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick is really like a... If I remember correctly, it's like a, you know, like a puzzle game. Very like a... I think... Was it made by the same people who made Phoenix Wright? I think so. Maybe. I just know it's a good game. Uh, okay, okay so... I don't think missiles are that useful. It is? Okay. Um, so I think we're gonna get the metal detector. I think that's a good idea. I'll take that instead. Actually, did that? Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm just like seeing all the dialogue I can. Like, what happens if I uh, present it to Gumshoe, the old fishing pole? What does he think of that? Like, what do you think of this fishing pole? It's funny. One day I woke up and I wanted a fishing pole. Uh, do you like fishing? I've never gone. This is I wanted one so bad I went on and bought one. I never use it actually. It must have been one of those midlife crisis things. Okay, so that's where it comes from. It's just he just has one but never used one. It's literally just his own possessions, not really the departments. Uh, but yeah. Give me a different one. They made it by a time of trials and tribulations. Oh, okay, Ghost Trick was made during that time. You're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. You know, maybe Gordy's made of metal. I don't know. I got an achievement. Uh, I don't think you can see an OBS, but you get, I guess you get a couple achievements. Uh, let's see. What do you think of this metal detector, Gary? Uh, Larry? I was, just, I was gonna say Gary. Not Gary Butts, it's Larry Butts. What about you, Lot of Heart? Hey, Lotta, look at this! It's a metal detector! I know what it is. Um, I'm not sure that's gonna pick up Gordy, though. Unless he's been eating people's watches or spare change or something. Oh. I hadn't thought about that. Hmm... Where do we use the metal detector on? Well, there's only one place we didn't go, over here. Maybe we can... oh! Hey, finally something relevant! <laughs> you know, we've always been going to the boat rental shop, but nothing happens. It's beeping! The metal detector's found something! I'm sure it's loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya! Oh, why do I have to check it out? Nick, look! Hmm. Oh. Okay, flags and some sort of canister? An air tank? Huh, oh, the valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Amaya, oh, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Hmm. Uh, hmm? There's something wrapped around this air tank. Looks like a string of flags? Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Air tank. An empty air tank. It's a banner of flags. Well, where where else do we see, like, a bunch of flags? It's right here, right? Oh, do you know anything about this? What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it... yours? I was wondering, like... I think he said he said his compressor broke, right, or something like that. Oh, I would have had a thing like that. Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. <laughs> like court music is playing. That must be a coincidence. There's a string of flags everywhere these days, like elementary schools and used car dealerships. 
Blah, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something, I assume? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? you inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Now why would you go asking me a question like that? <laughs> Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always used was on the fritz, so I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. Well, I mean, ask more. What else? Like, it didn't go so well? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you think you'd be a little bit more specific? Oh, come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us. Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the seal of samurai up with that. Then... Blam! Hmm. He's still in this, like, Santa costume. The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? They sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Okay. Um, so the tank of the steel samurai you were trying to fill up, uh, fill up, flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago. Okay. Nah, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in the boat looking for it. I mean, Keon's gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Oh, just the night before last. The night before last. It flew way out there. Took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Well, sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, he could have been the witness. I was thinking maybe he's the initial witness, but maybe not. Well, it's not all bad. We saw one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Hmm. 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 Anyway. I go tell her. Tell a lot of heart. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Yep, we found him. Huh? Gordy? Oh, huh? we found him already. What? I haven't seen any monster yet. Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait. I need proof. You got a photo? Mm. Uh, do we have proof? I don't think we do. I mean... I mean, this is technically a photo. Of course I have proof. No fair, Nick. That was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? <laughs> That's when you made contact with Gordy. Enough jabbering already. Let's see your proof. That's well, right here. Y'all trying to make a fool out of me? I don't prove daily squad. Oh. Ah. Damn it. I thought I was right. Because hmm. I was thinking... Gordy... I mean, unless I'm jumping the gun again. I think Gordy is just the inflatable steel samurai, right? That went into the lake and that's what people saw. And that's all it really is. Unless, let's see, actually. Maybe it's the, uh, maybe I should present the tank, I guess. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to present? Let's see. Let's try again. I found him! I have proof. I don't have a photo, but... I have something that's related, maybe. There you go. Oh, Larry's air tank? <laughs> oh, more court music. What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? 
what exactly you're saying, Nick? Well, there's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang. The tank, along with the steel deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. Okay, yeah, this is what I was gonna present. She was asking for like a literal photo, so I was gonna present this instead. But I guess you're supposed to present the actual, like, related evidence that you're supposed to give before. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Ah, oh, poor Lotta. This <laughs> is sad music. You ruin everything by telling her the truth. Well, so tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops running around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They say he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Oh, okay. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Oh, just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Well, thanks, Lada. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the knife of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Hmm. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just a lake. I figured it would be as much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. Okay, there's a second one. Taken at 11.50. Oh, so that's earlier, is it? Yeah, I think it's earlier. Alright. 11.50. That's the first bang or something? No. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. Legend still lives on, I guess. A legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. <laughs> More puns. Weird, like, localized puns. Amazing. You know, we say it's Larry's fault. I mean, we shouldn't blame him for everything. If anything, he kind of got his own punishment, I guess, because he ate all of his dogs. Our dog ate all of his dogs. Uh, actually, I want to see the photo. Can I... It's just an empty lake, can't look at it? Hmm. I guess that's it. We can't really, like, zoom in. I guess it just shows the lake? At the very least, it proves that there was at least a bang at 11.50. Oh, when was the murder? 24th or 25th. So there's no, like, exact time yet. The, but the second photo was taken at 12.15. Uh, at midnight, after midnight, the next day. So, hmm. so this is technically the second shot. The first shot, there was another bang. So that might be relevant. I gotta remember. I gotta remember all the facts. Again, this like little small fact that we got at the beginning of like of the little court trial. Like I, I, I miss right because you know Edward's right hand, such a small detail. We gotta remember. Gotta remember every single small thing. Hmm. Well, let's see. I guess for now we're just gonna move on to the boat rental shop. And there's an old man living here, is he still here? Or is he, like, I imagine the police would have, still have him in custody or something? Then again, he's just a witness, right? He's not a suspect, so it's not like the police should hold him anywhere or anything. Oh. Hey Nick, this is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't it seem to be, or doesn't seem to be anyone around at all? Well, let's go check it out anyway. Can we break in? I did mention that before, right? Just break in? Can we do that? Yeah, we're just gonna break in. You know, just a little like, you know, break in, break and enter. What's it called? Breaking and entering? Is that the way it's called, you know? Just like invade somebody's home? Oh, okay. Meg, that you? Huh? Hey, is that Keith with you? 
Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg. Yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. <laughs> or, I don't know, how, how do you do like a stereotypical, like, crazy old man voice? Like, you'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. Or something like that. Pasta? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello. <laughs> I don't know how to do the bird sound. Like that. <laughs> Nick, what was that? Parrot, the one on that perch. Cave. Y yes? I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of this pasta shop. A ramen shop, really? Well, that's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello. <laughs> Again, I don't know. How do you like do like a bird sound? With my mouth, like. <laughs> anyway, uh, yep. Oh, he fell asleep. Yep. I guess he's relieved. Oh. Um, well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna, like, look around. Wow, what an amazing pair that is. Good morning. Hello. Oh, it ignored me. Zz zz zz. What, you forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello, hello. See? Oh, neat. So the parent's name is Polly. Polly. Erstwhile companion of the boat shop caretaker. Hmm. Well, too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Secret words. Looks like a kitchen unit is pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who could keep things tidy like that. <laughs> looks like, well, he looks like a crazy old man, so... You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Oh, is he? I don't think he is, though. Okay, some fish. Wow, various fish in Gord Lake. Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Ocean fish? That's weird. I don't know, maybe he likes ocean fish. Look, a little safe. Hmm. That's locked. <laughs> well, you know, obviously. No TV. Oh, he has a television here too. Amazing. But this fishing pole looks expensive. Okay. Expensive fishing pole. Fish, like, diagrams, is it like an old fisher type? Hmm. Uh, what do you call, uh, what do you call these, like, I don't know, what, what uh, not futons, not futon. I can't, I, 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 you always see these, uh, in anime, you know. <laughs> but I guess, well, it's obviously available in Japan as well. Electric ban blanket on this table. That's a great idea, we should have to do that in the office. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And to what? Talk about murders? Ah, oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. Like hot tables. So a little, little like a, uh, I guess heat generator under the blankets. Great for winter, I imagine. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Maya's found a new friend. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to investigate. What a strange safe though. It looks like, to me it looks like an old stereo box. For me, like an old, it looks like there's dials, I don't know. Um, a pasta shop. Uh, yep, to think, 
The wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started, you know, so that makes you two the third generation. Meg. Yes? Tomorrow, we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. Dough tossing? You too, Keith. Yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the Wes has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? Wes? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg. Yes? You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course. Everyone knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. I'm not leaving until we find out what that is. And again, I imagine, no, oh, because pasta shop, I don't think it's a pasta shop in the original translation, probably like referring to the ramen shop, you know, a ramen restaurant or something. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here is the Palace of Pasta, the wet noodle! Though now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo dude, we want to ride one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngster these days, darn if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. Well, this old man is a witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. And pop. Uh, my memory's gone worse of late. That's why I just sell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? 1228. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? Hmm, <laughs> see, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved with your little high schemes. What was it? 1228? <laughs> Give me the money, old man. Oh. Okay, we can't do it? <laughs> no. I thought we can. I thought we can just open it. No other topics? Hmm. Try color our rain below yoli. Rain below yoli. Indigo blue. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think everything is really relevant. Um. I can't just sit through this animation every time I show him. I show him evidence. I don't think that's relevant either. Hmm. I guess there's nothing else to do. Unless there's some evidence we need to show, but it doesn't look like it's relevant. Well, what do we know? Well, for one, apparently he likes fishing? Seems like it. Other than pasta, I guess. Let's move on. Maybe we need uh, the old fishing pole from Gumshoe, maybe. Thinking. Kind of like a wild guess, but uh, maybe? I'm just gonna do that. Oh, no, not here. Here. Gumshoe? Hello? Hmm, the type of Gumshoe isn't here. Aw oh, man, I thought I was right. I thought you needed to get the fishing pole, but I guess not. They had a meeting. Darn it. Where do I go, though? Um, you know anything about Polly? No? Okay. Going there. Hmm. Lada, you have anything to say? No? Ah, I don't know where Lada went. She's not here. I guess he can't help us. Um. Hmm. I'm doing. I don't know what I need to do. I guess I present something else. You know anything about Misty Faye? He's just gonna 
pop your nose bubble again. Oh, Tama Pasta again. Um, you know, hey, I'm an attorney. No. Maybe? That a lawyer's badge? Uh, yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. Yeah, we keep showing it to everyone. Nobody knows. People keep like not really, you know, uh, like, like they don't, they don't recognize it, you know. I get it. Huh? Uh, yeah. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Nick, now's our chance to clean things up. Um, sir. No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other day. Please help us. Hmm, Haloria. Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. And what's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. No. I can't make that promise. Is that any way to treat your old man? Bah. You want my help? You've come to the wrong man. Oops. <laughs> I thought we were going to be like serious and not like, you know, be like play the old family routine again. Oh, well, now he's grumpy. Not to mention he still thinks we're his kids. Maybe we should just lie and say we're running a shop. Okay, we promise. Lying? You shouldn't lie. That's bad. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, I need to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Oh, wait, didn't I just say? You too, you too, Meg. Yes? <laughs> you bring a tear to the old man's eye, you know. Oh, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello. <laughs> Uh, now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Hmm. 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 Gonna present something else, maybe? You know anything about... Like, you know anything about the murder, or...? You know anything about Gordy? <laughs> you know about Gordy? No. Okay, <laughs> just nope. You know anything about... You know someone dying? No, okay. How about this? Uh, I see this. What, you know something about this? Keith. Yes? It's okay. You can call me Dad. Uh, Dad, you know something about this? <laughs> uh, the other night, out on the lake. Yes, yes. I know all about that. I seen it. What? Nani? Tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. saw. Well, actually, can I present you something else? You know anything about this? No, nothing. Ah, he has to do a little nose pop every time. That's your punishment. You wasted your time doing that. Ah, da, da, da. I don't think anyone, anything else is relevant. Let's just talk about it. I was, I was gonna like present more evidence to see what he knows, but otherwise, I don't think he does. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Uh. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang. Hmm. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to him, so yeah. What did he say? 
I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, I promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Little Terry was just here. Terry? Yep, the kid next door. We always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing his tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're gonna get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? What? Don't forget DL6! Huh? <laughs> what did you say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6! Nani? The DL6 incident? How is that related? How does Polly know this? A hey, mister, I mean dad. Oh, this is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. And locked it. Can't break in again. Oh no. Who could that old man be? I think we need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe we should ask Detective Gumshoe. Okay. Let's do that. Let us go. To the... Uh, to the Criminal Affairs Department. Hey pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? Uh, you know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Uh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in the court tomorrow, right? Huh? How'd you... Uh, I, that was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Mr. Law to heart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Well, Detective Gush Gumshoe, please help us. Ah. Uh, we need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it has to do something or it has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about the L6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Hmm. Well, Polly, like, mentioned DL6, so... What's that, a parrot? The old man of the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about the, that incident. That incident? The L6. What? Well, I found something. Squawk! Kills! Don't forget the L6! Wow! Don't forget! Whoa! I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but... How would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? I getcha. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through here, or through there, is the station's records room. I'll give you a special permission to go in and find what you need. Alright, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. I guess it's time we face Edgeworth's pass. Hmm. And more about DL6? Anything else we need to talk about? No. Okay. 
just gotta waltz in, look at some records. Wow, that's amazing. Lee Dusty, huh? Uh, ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Ezra from nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. Well, just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Alright. Well, what is it about? Can I handle the main facts? Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Here you go. December 28, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of this of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? It looks like it. There was a large earthquake on 2 o'clock p.m. on that day. However, the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Okay. Wow. Wow, some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took four, five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. Little Edgeworth right there in the corner. Well, that would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. And that was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. But Miles Edgeworth was one of the elder passengers in that elevator. Hmm. You have data on the victim? Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles. Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and yellow evidence, it couldn't have been suicide. The murder weapon and the pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Never heard that before. Oh. Similarly, uh, this one. It wasn't two times, but three times for this one. Huh. Sounds like this current case. What's going on here? Suspect? Got any data on the suspect? The guy that your, uh, her mom arrested, I guess. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yayani Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But Lisa was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm, where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer than we think. Hmm. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we gonna take the whole file? It's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Yeah, DL6 case file incident. Or DL DL6 incident case file, rather. Right, that's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do do testifying in court. Hmm. I wonder indeed. He just seems like a crazy old man. What is he gonna testify? I don't know.